You remember Sharon made her own Christmas cake? Well, today, daughter's done one as well. And it's been how long, Sharon? Couple of months, hasn't it? Couple of months. And they are now decorating them. It's a cake off. See you in a minute. Right, folks, this is Tracy. Hello. Tracy has done her own version of the cake. You made the same size cake virtually, didn't you? Yes, virtually. And you've got an idea for your design, haven't you? Yes. Did you cook it in the air fryer? I did. And what air fryer did you use? The Kasuri. Kasuri Dual Blaze. That's the one. Do you just want to hold your cake up and just oh, show it? Of course. Now, it may look a bit... Um, it's got a bit of icing sugar. Icing in sugar in it at the moment. Right, so that's your cake. Have you been feeding it with alcohol? Uh, just once. Once, right. Well, Mum has been doing hers a lot more. Yeah, that's... I made mine a little bit more recently than you guys did. Right, okay. So that's yours. Yeah, yes. your fruit's so longer than my fruit. Um, baby, everyone knows who you are. Huh? <laughs> right, so let's have a look at your cake then. One I made earlier. There it is. Can yeah. you just turn it over just to show everyone that it did cook fully through? Because oh, apparently really some it. people had made one and it hadn't cooked fully through. Do you want to just give it a little tap, baby? Solid, as you can see there. Because some people have tried it and it didn't cook fully through. All they had to do, basically, was put it on for a little bit longer then, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Every, every oven's dead. Even though they're air fried. Now, we didn't different. turn ours over either, did we, we baby? We can't turn the cake over. Exactly. Yeah. That's the point I'm making, Sharon. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that. Now, I'm going to look at this mess on the table here. As you can see, folks, they've been already started the decoration. So it's a bit of a cake off this. This is icing sugar, by the way, folks. And that's my that. rolling pin. And okay. that's her rolling and pin. Got, why as well? We've done it because this is glass. Of course it's it is. Nice and cold. Nice and cold, baby. Yeah. Nice and cold. It's cold. Right, so I'm going to sit here and watch you two in your little cake off. And what are you doing first, Jan? What have we got? What's happening here? Of, I've not got apricot jam. We've got marmalade. And I'm just going to stick the cake. On there. Now, you've been feeding your cake as well, haven't you? Yeah, my cake is drunk. It's had loads and loads of alcohol. And that is it there, folks. And she's gonna do a traditional marzipan and icing cake with traditional decorations on it. Tracy apparently is doing something a little bit different. So let's start off, baby, in doing your creation. So Sharon's just painting on some marmalade or jam. Heated marmalade. Heated marmalade, okay just to give a little bit of a glaze to it, and a glue, perhaps. It's a glue, more of a glue. Yes. Gloopy glue. Yeah. Tracy, on the other hand, is, uh, they're sitting up at each other. Opposite. opposite. Opposite each other, folks, as you can see. So Tracy is now making a move. You've, you've both gone for the red bases, I see. They're both traditional yeah, girls. Right, okay, Tracy's, actually, they're using the same equipment, folks. What are sharing? They're sharing, haven't you? Sharing, sharing is, is caring. Sharing, sharing is caring. caring. And again, Tracy's opted to, uh, stick her cake to the base with a marmalade jam as well, folks. Sharon's zipped one pace ahead. Sharon's actually placed on the top layer of marzipan. Won't last. It won't last. <laughs> marvellous, absolutely marvellous. And uh, again, you're basting the bottom of the cake. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. You're basting it You're too. basting the bottom of the cake with a glaze yet again. Yes. I don't know if I saw Sharon do that. Oh, I don't know if I saw her do it. No, no. Oh, hello. Cut, cut. Pastry roll cutter. I see what you're doing there. I see, Sharon. Now, we have got some cake decorators who actually watch the channel, shall we? Yeah, please, Sam. Don't, don't take the piss. Just about me doing a bit Yeah, don't, don't take the piss. No, don't take the mickey. Not the This is just for fun. Oh, hello. Oh, I've got a tool. Hey, what's this? She's got a polishing cloth. Ah, that's professional. Well, I don't know. That is professional, Tracy. It's a professional tool. I don't know if I'm using it like a professional. Yeah, well... I, I did go like that on mine. Would you like to borrow? No, no. no let's, let's have some sort of competition. Let's not give each other tips and things. No, we can't. can't. We're mother and daughter. Of course you are. Right, what about the overhang, Tracy? I'm going to sort that. Don't you panic, sunshine. Right. And uh, oh, I see you're, you're demi-glaze in the uh, side as well. I speak. think you've actually overtaken mother. Totally and to be honest with you, your your uh, marzipan looks a little bit thinner than your mother's. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Did you it's roll it out? Different colour too, yes. Okay, so right, Tracy's just now applying the side marzipan, folks. Oh, Using that tool out and uh, just ironing it, I call it the iron oh, technique. Like that, yes. Just ironing it on. While Sharon's still faffing about around her rim. She should have lubed her rim better, shouldn't she? She didn't lube her rim at all, Sharon, did you? I haven't got any 
got that far yet. Hey? Uh, that's Come my on. next bit. Okay, fair enough, baby. I'm working on the top first. Yeah. Well, don't make it look too complicated, shall I? I'm not. Because the people who have uh, made these cakes are going to possibly try and do their own decoration and uh, they'll be them. looking upon you as the experts. Although, Sharon, that's turned out very nice. When that's I look at yours now, compared to your daughter's, hers looks an abomination. <laughs> I, I, I'm, a... I'm waiting to see how she actually trims up this edge. Oh, I see. Oh, no, no, no. You're, you're going from the outside, I see. Inside out, I would have gone the other way, but never mind. Oh, it's a good job. It's my cake, not yours, isn't it? Right, so, okay, Shell. We'll let her carry on with that, Shell. What are we up to next? You're going to get some sides on, baby. I will be, yeah. Looks nice, looks professional. Now, she did glazers with oh, the... Oh, really? uh, Yeah. It's got to stick, hasn't it? Of course it has. So yet again, we take the uh, marmalade and uh, paste around the side, Sharon. Just taking it round. I see what you're doing actually now. You're oh, smoothing yeah, the transition. Okay. She's smoothing the transition, folks. It's now turned into a swan, isn't it? Yeah, from an ugly duckling, it's going into the swan. Can you see, folks, how she's massaging and ironing that around? Look, oh, look at that, that yeah. technique there, look. Yes. Look what she's done with it, folks, around this side, look. Look at that, eh? I like it. That, that has turned out very, it. very nice, actually. And straight in, Sharon has gone now, whacking it around and using the finger technique oh. and pushing it in, inching it in, Sharon. That's looking lovely. Yeah, I think you might need to use her special tool as well, Sharon, just to bring the uh, top in. You can you see this, it? folks? Look, can you see what's happened there? Yeah. How it's smoothed in, the bevels have smoothed in there. Absolutely fantastic. I'm just pasting on her last bit now, whilst uh, Sharon struggles with a lot thicker, may I say, paste, almond paste. Right, we'll just let them have a little five minutes, folks, and then we'll come back to them. Okay, folks, we're back at the table again. The uh, cakes have been miles in pan. They're sitting over the back there. Tracy's just getting out her ready-made icing, which is a little bit cold and hard, Tracy. Ooh, isn't it? Bit. Not too bad now. Yeah, it's melting down a bit. Nanny's just started to roll hers out now. And uh, again, getting this to the right thickness is crucial. You don't want it too thick and you don't want it also too thin. Tracy's using the uh, glass rolling pin on this glass top table, I will add, folks, so it's a nice... Well, that's the idea for people have got a rolling pin, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's right, Sharon. It's funny, that, that is a rolling pin, though. <laughs> Engineer's wife, make do. So they're both having a good roll roll off here now, look the pair of them. You're probably gonna get probably about half a centimetre maybe. No, I'm good. This is for the whole cake, this is all the icing I've got. You're not messing about, you're going for it I'm going big to style. Flop over. I see, the, the big flop routine. Whereas you're doing the uh, top separate, Tracy. Yes, I have top length sides. There we go. I, did the I see, right, okay. I see, look, she's just pre-cutting it, folks. Look, just, uh, just rough. Just rough, just to get the rough shape because she's going to rely on the iron technique as well for uh, putting it back on and joining it all together. So she's just roughly trimming it off. And Sharon is going for the whole flop over the top of the cake in one go. She's got mental. That could cause puckers, but she's hopefully going to iron them out. Oh, he's got me worried now. <laughs> <laughs> now you do what you feel is right, Sharon. You go with what you feel is right. So she's already... Just going to roll out her last little bit to go around the edge. Things are getting very tense now. I can sense tension in the air. Are you happy with your 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 fitness of it, Sharon? Go on, put doubt in her head, No, don't do that. What do you reckon? That looks all right, baby. You're doing all right. You're doing okay. Don't let her put it's you off. Her. It's to don't her. let her put you off, Sharon. Shoot. <laughs> you going for it, Sharon? Here we go. Here we go for it. I'll slide it under for you, shall I? see, using the roller, rolling pin there as a prop. Yeah, okay, baby. I see, okay. Oh, my so. thumb's gone through. Oh, don't worry, baby, you can repair that. Oh, I like it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a bit of rippage there, shall Bit of rippage. Again, these aren't professionals, folks. Well, they can <laughs> see, that. They can see that. These are not professionals. We're not trying to teach you anything here. We're just showing you how ordinary people <laughs> go about <laughs> making a Christmas cake for years and years, let's say then. Can I have the, um, 
at all, please. Get ironing, Sharon. Get ironing. I must say, your top looks really lovely, Sharon. Oh, don't iron in that, Sharon. Don't iron in that. She sabotaged it. A bit of the actual cake had got uh, embedded in it. Don't worry about this massive great big rip in the side. Oh, I can't see hey? that. Hey? Don't worry about keep that. Keep going, Father. Oh. Keep going. Go on, keep going. I just, thought ribbons are for. Just push it in. For, well, exactly. We've got a lovely Scottish ribbon that will go around that, Sharon. Don't worry too much about it, baby. This is your main area here. Yeah? yeah so you poke it all in around the edges. That's it. Just dress it, shall. Get the iron out afterwards. Oh, it's like that. It's like a hat. Yeah, give it the old, uh, yeah, call it rustic, shall. Don't forget vintage Christmas cake, Sharon, which is what you're going for. People never used to have all the fancy tools like irons and stuff in the house. They used to do this sort of thing with a bottle, look. I must say, I normally do vintage Christmas cake with the little people on and Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're going for the extra marmalade. I think oh, so. Forgot. Don't worry, shall. Just a touch, though. It's just two different techniques, Cheryl. That's all it is, baby. Just dress it up. Yeah, one's old age and forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Nice, nice. I like it, yeah. yeah. Giving it a bit, bit of a buff up on the top there, yeah? Yes. Now, are you trimming or what? What are you doing now, I'm then? Gonna, I'm going to have a bit of a trim, I think. Not a massive trim. While Sharon goes for the uh, ironing technique, looks like a big... Uh, Floppy hat, Sharon, at the moment. Could be a snowman's hat. And you're trimming off manually. Are you happy with that so far, baby? Yeah. Yeah, well, we can't see what you can see, but we can see that here. But that will all disappear, I'm pretty sure of it. They're both going to work on these, so let's come back to them when they've done that and uh, see how they turn out before the next stage. Okay, folks, we're probably about halfway through at the moment. Things are a little bit tense in the workshop so let's go back and let's see where we're at right Sharon you're just finishing off your little bit of rimming how are you uh, taking it how are you feeling at the moment I'm feeling fine with someone that's rimming and uh, daughter how do you feel with your presentation um, at the moment so far so good but you're, you're quite happy I've got some stuff to make that I'm not so sure about right so at the moment let's take a look at your cake very nice do you want to spin it round Get the full effect. Very, very nice. Nice smooth, I can see there. Smooth outline all the way around. And while Mummy's still rimming, Mummy, do you want to just spin around and let us see while you're going around? She's not very cooperative. <laughs> she's not, she's, she's she's not very cooperative. I think she's engrossed. Well, don't forget, Sean, we can call it rustic. Don't forget that. I haven't finished. She's Happy got day. Shao, there is a deadline, baby. You're actually pushing the deadline. Oh, yes, mother. Are we ready for the next round? Which is decoration. Oh, Tracy, nice yes, game on. Thank you. <laughs> and what are you starting off with, Tracy? Well, I need to try and make a hat. Right. Like a bubble hat. Now, again, Mummy doesn't know what your, actually, your theme is, does she? No. And I don't think... The bubble hat. I don't think Mummy actually knows what her theme is, to be honest with you. Traditional. Traditional joke. Yeah. 70s retro cake oh, Mummy's okay. making. So you've got some red icing, yes. or fondant they think they call it, already out. I've also made some to do a bit of um, detail with. And what is this? That's just icing sugar with food colouring and a tiny bit of water. Right, okay. So you're going to start actually bringing yours together now. I take it you've got a design in your head. In my brain? Yeah. And I don't know it's that, but your mother's still rimming. <laughs> She just loves it, doesn't she? Doesn't she? Look, she's no, rimming away. Look at her. She's rimming away. I'm not sure why, though, because she's putting a ribbon around it. Yeah, I know that. We've already actually tried the ribbon, and it fits perfectly. So don't be too particular, baby. That surface is superb. She's coming straight in with a ribbon, Tracy. Oh, there she goes. Let's have, oh, that's, mate, that's, yeah, that's fine, yep. Yeah. What's that say? Happy Easter? Yes. Yep. Looking good. And you're using the jam technique to paste on the the ribbon itself to the cake again yeah. the, it doesn't want to be a permanent thing because it's purely as you said before sharon for decoration until you cut the cake you won't actually cut through the ribbon you'll remove the ribbon when you actually cut the cake that's it so just bringing it bringing it round tucking it around as you can see folks she's gone for the Christmassy scottish thing because we're up in scotland at the moment and straight away we can see the cakes 
nearing completion. Whilst Tracy has got so much work to do on her cake because everything's got to be handmade. Yes. Got to be. Everything's handmade. We're going back traditional, Tracy. Yep. Ooh. With our one. Because you used to buy the little end, uh, ornaments, which we've actually got here. And Sharon's actually moving on to decoration straight away. Tracy, we're going to have to come back to you. Okay. Because she's moving ahead very fast. Have a kin. Right, baby. What is your plan? Oh, I see, yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice indeed. And this is the great thing about this technique, Sharon, which you're using. It's <laughs> done. nearly done. It's nearly done. For, uh, can you see the, the Winter Wonderland theme she's going for there? She must have a picture in her mind's eye for this because... Uh, no, just resting it on there. Ah, uh, you're not even pushing them in place. I like it. Yeah, no, there's no pressure on there yet, folks. I see. You happy with that? You've got a few other little things there. And there's a lot of space here. I know what you're going to put in that front bit. I think you've bought a Merry Christmas uh, thing oh, to go in there. Oh, there. Well, get it out, baby. Yeah, baby. And I want to see some baubles on there as well. I see. Right, OK. Yeah. I do like that little bit of holly you've used as well, Sharon. There's more holly coming. Yeah. Very nice. A lot of concentration going on here, folks. Everything has to be just right. While you're doing that, Sharon, I'm just going to zip back over to Tracy because I think I've seen something happening. Well, folks, as you can see, we've got some red fondant in place. It was a little bit short there, which I think you'll find she's just tapping in now. There's a little elf on your shoulder, Tracy. Isn't he lovely, There's a little elf. And you've managed to just put in a little bit of extra there and you're going back to the ironing just to get them edges you do like it nice and shiny and flat don't you back over to mummy i'll try and get them both in they're both working just as hard folks as each other on these little creations that they've got here i must say mummy it is looking very traditional but you've got one experience sharon you was about in the 70s so you remember your mum doing oh, something very similar look at this folks look absolutely superb you've committed by pushing that actually in i noticed already so you're happy with the ring of holly because you've actually pushed them into the cake and once you've done that Sharon, as you well know there's no turning back tracy's using a bit of the old icing sugar on the uh red fondant i hope it's not going to stain it too much quite know what she's doing here actually folks I'm a little neither bit does she. Eh? <laughs> neither does she. No, neither does she. I think that might be a peak for the hat, maybe, I don't know. The pizza cut is a very good way to go for getting your cuts absolutely perfect, <laughs> folks. There you go. Superb. Hold on for a minute. Sharon's got these little I remember these when I was a kid, Sharon, these little silver balls. Well trad oh, you're going full tradition here, aren't you? Full traditional. <laughs> These folks is what I remember on Look, a Christmas not cake. The same. Shall? Look. Nothing's the same as it was back then. Chocolate. Chocolate silver balls. They used to be solid silver. Like but to be honest with you, Shell, before back in the 70s they had the texture of ball bearings <laughs> when you used to crunch them. And you're really going for that Christmassy look there, as I can see. <coughs> Absolutely superb. And Tracy's coming back to Tracy, she's just put in a peak on the uh, cap there and making sure that the cake doesn't overlap at all two totally different styles of cake here folks i'm sure you'll agree and don't forget this will be the centerpiece to any christmas table right show you're very nearly at the end now you've got what's this you've got in your hand glitter spray glitter oh look at this folks. oh look oh look sharon can i just say that was my glitter <laughs> Not that I'm competitive. Come on, baby. Look at your glitter. Oh, come on. Oh, it's looking great. This is spray glitter, folks, by the way. Totally sugar based. Oh, that looks fantastic, Sharon. There's blue there. Yeah. That's my working Yeah, I don't think you need the blue, Sharon. Overkill, don't forget. Just because it's there, don't mean you've got to use it. Just like if someone asks you a question, don't mean you've got to answer it, baby. 
Remember I've always taught you that? Okay, baby, don't go too mad. Less uh, is more, mother. Less is less more. Less is more, mother, yeah. <laughs> it, like it, it does look good, Sharon. That's really made a difference. <laughs> Talking about making a difference, let's have a look at Tracy's now. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I see you've put a little peak on that cap. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. And what, what's that you're actually doing there? What do you think? <clears throat> actually, I'm just making a... Right, now, a how have you actually made that? Well, I thought. It I had a brain wave and I've got a nice cream comb. Right. And just snip the end off. Right, and then you've covered the fondant in the... Uh, covered the ice cream cone in the fondant. Yes. We'd just oh. like to move yours over a bit, shall because I don't really want to let everyone see yours yet. Glitter in the air? Yes, it's lovely. It's only I love it. It's sugar. I just, <laughs> oh, I just love this. I just love Christmas. Oh, I see, yeah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> it's like a finger. It does look like a finger. Looks like a baguette. Right, so that's your yep, that's nose good. for your snowman. I'll take it this is going to be a snowman. It is, yes. Well done. Well done. So what's next, baby? So she's just making the eyes now for her snowman Christmas cake. Sharon's just trimming up her little masterpiece there one by one. Just bringing little things into order. I'm very happy with it. Okay, baby. Right, well, let's go over to Tracy again now. Using plenty of fondant there. And now, are you, are you looking for a happy or a dopey looking? Psycho by the looks of it. Psychopath snowman. I got <laughs> Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah? He's got a thumb stuck in the middle of his head. But I don't have a paintbrush. Right. So I'm going to use my finger. <laughs> ah, this could work be turned to rubbish, folks. She's now adding the black to the eye, which no, doesn't look too bad. I'm going to... What about that? Uh, yeah. Just rounding it about. I need to use that one, actually. Oh, that could be used for that, so I can use that. What are you actually going to do? Oh, I see. Hold it still, Tracy. Hold it still. You ain't going to give him big black pupils, are you? Or? I'm going to give him a black eye because it's like cold, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Use your finger. Just taking her finger to a I don't know, I've not tested this. Right, this is the first that, that you've never tried out before. It could turn to rubbish. Right, okay. Who knows? So again, this is just black food icing, isn't it? Well, this is actually food gel colouring. Right, okay. But I just find it takes so long to actually get black. You always end up with like a grey, don't you? Yes, normally you do, I suppose, yes. So I thought... Oh, right, I think the hardest part here, folks, gonna is going to be transferring right. it onto the white cake without making it smudge or anything like that. Yep. That's going to be the problem, folks. That's what we're going to come up against very, very shortly. You're not going to watch me, are you? Of course we're going to watch you. Am I trembling? Yes, well, you've already trembled. Well, you should have seen it when she put this stuff on, folks. <laughs> Absolutely right, hilarious. Yeah, just wash that off my finger. Right. Right, you're back. You've washed your hands. Washed my hands. You've got everything ready. You haven't got a small spatula. <laughs> so you're going to improvise with a fork. I've used the wonkiest fork. Oh, my God. All the teeth <laughs> are all up in the place. Look, they're all up in the air. All the teeth. Right, this has got to get this right first time, folks. Otherwise, it'll end up boss eyed. Oh, I've got shakes again. I'm just gonna go for it. Use an implement, don't use your finger. Tracy, shall we get that flat implement there so you can drag it off? There you go. I'm helping here, look, I'm helping my daughter out. Well, I think you should. That's it. Oh, lovely. I hope his eyes are going to be in the right place, so Tracy. Do I. So do I. Ooh. Eyes are symmetry, don't forget. Eyes are symmetry. You never see a perfect snowman, exactly. No, exactly. So we can just say our kid built it. Exactly. Our kid did. Well, just, there you go then. Just easing it off the fork, the, the transfer vessel there, folks. As you can see. Oh, look at the stress on her face. Now just unwinding, look. Oh, cake building, I'll tell you something, isn't to be taken lightly. Not for the faint hearted. I hope you haven't got dirty fingers, Tracy. That's all I can say. You might want to just um, get one of your tools and just I don't just know, embed them. Just embed it. Do you it. need to put them away? I don't know. I don't think you do. I don't think you do, Tracy. She's yeah. going for a white eyeball, folks. I don't think you ought to. Do you not think I should? No. Well, I, I, it's not for us to I say. We're, seen a we're, we're, we're the competition. You can't ask us. Oh, we now is it? Yeah. You can ask me. I'm your mum. Right, get his hooter on. Oh, that looks great. Absolutely. Superb. You've made it into a 3D cake. Now I'm just going to drag a smile, I think. Really? I was going to do black dots for coal. <sighs> oh. Can't be what you normally do. Will you see his mouth like that? Yeah. You? Glitter, you, glitter his mouth. You can't just glitter his mouth, Shao. No, no. You can't, Shao, now you've found glitter, baby. You can't <laughs> just glitter everything. Oh, why not? Okay. 
I see, I see what you're doing there. Oh, he's happy though, he is happy. He's happy, boy. Yeah, don't push right through into your other stuff, will you? No, I'm not silly. That's, not your, you. that's your thing, you can take it too far. I'm not her uh, with Glitter Queen, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> right, are you happy now? I don't know, yep. Right, well, we'll leave you for a minute till you yeah. work out your next move. Because mum is sitting there, I must say, very, very smug at the moment. She is, isn't very she? smug. <laughs> Well, folks, the time is now. Let's have a look and see what they've created. Right, girls, how was it? How did you find it, Sharon? I actually enjoyed it. And I didn't think I would enjoy it, but I did. Tracy, have you made a cake before? Yeah, I always make the kids' birthday cakes. <laughs> They're never quite as good as this one. Well, folks, just to show you what you can do, these ain't experts at the end of the day, so <laughs> any of you cake decorators out there, don't rip them apart. No, don't mock us, please. Because it's all a bit of fun. And no, I'm proud of it. Just gives you a bit of incentive to make your own yeah. cakes at the end of the day. They're not going to be cut into now, so we're not going to know what they're going to be tasting like. So um, we're going to be testing them on probably Christmas Day or even afterwards, maybe for New Year's or something like that. I'll be trying on Christmas Day. Right, OK. Tea, tea, tea time go. or pudding. There you go, folks. It was just a bit of fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. Just to show you what you can do, making your own cakes. And don't forget, both of these cakes were created in an air fry in probably half the time they would take to do in a conventional oven. Anyway, thank you very much. hope you've enjoyed this video. And from Tracy. Goodbye. From Sharon. Goodbye, Merry Christmas. And from me, we hope you have a lovely time. We won't, we, we, we won't be putting a video out on Wednesday, folks, because we're preparing for our Christmas show on Friday, which is gonna be live at 8 p.m. in the evening. So don't forget to tune into that one. We're expecting quite a lot of people in there, and we're all gonna be live, and also loads of funds and sketches and stuff like that, with possibly some of these people you can see in front of you now. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video. And until Merry then, Christmas. bye for now. See you Friday. Bye.